guys today we're doing a special unboxing this is the first resin figure i'm going to be unboxing on my channel but it's my third resin figure in my collection and it's also the first figure i've also got from favor dk the website and this figure is from lc studios and it's the levi anchorman statue when he's carrying zeke eager <laughs> i thought this figure sculpt was so freaking good and Levi is like my favorite character off of Attack on Titan so I had to get it even though it cost me an arm and a leg guys he is literally the most expensive figure in my collection now so without further ado <laughs> let's introduce Levi yeah I'm sure you guys can see the box I'm about to open it up I mean, like a lot of people make complaints about like these boxes always coming with like some type of damage on the, outside, on the exterior, but it did have some damages. Like I'm not sure if you can see the box right here, but it's like a hole in the box right here, as well as a hole here. But I don't think it's going to affect the figure, so we will check it out. He has been freed from his dungeon. I'm so exhausted. <sighs> okay. <laughs> this is the bag. I'll give you guys a close up. This is how the figure's supposed to look. I can't wait to take it out. <laughs> Takashi. I'll take the tape off of it. Okay, the video's kind of crooked, sorry. <laughs> wow. This comes with a lot of freaking parts. It literally comes in all these pieces. arms this is the battle equipment pretty sure this is Levi's body because Zeke's body's here this is Zeke's head <laughs> oh there are other faces okay we have like a but two bloody style faces for Levi I'm not sure what this is yet but we will find out and this is his cape this is the base isn't this base dope all right let's take it out I'm about to start putting the figure together, but like you won't be able to see my face. Just imagine I'm Miss Bellum from Powerpuff Girls. We're gonna get through this. Okay, I'm gonna take out the base. Which is this massive, ooh. Oh. This massive piece, this is the base. This base is ginormous. Where's my knife? <laughs> wow. Can you see this, guys? Look at this. I'm definitely not going to be able to put this on my spinning table. It is massive. But cool. I like that it has, like, Levi's face on the bottom. Yes. This is seriously massive, guys. Like, look at this beast. <laughs> Literally. Hold on. 
I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to fit this figure in like the hole. Okay. I'm here. Get some better lighting. Okay, there we go. I got some instructions that go with this because y'all know I like me some instructions. And I assume they do not. <laughs> We're just gonna figure this out, yeah. Oh, and here's like Zeke's body. I'm scared to like lift this figure up later. As soon as goes here, ooh, fits perfectly. Nice. But it's, is this even that? Oh, it does have like a kind of magnetic key thing going on. I'm not sure. Like, is this a bloody scarf? Is this all the gone, Zeke? I think so. Let's look at the box for help. Ugh. I did not see. Oh, this is, I think this is Levi's. Hold on. I'm tripping. Okay. Levi, Levi, I'm not sure. We have Levi's body. I think he sits right in here. Oh, am I wrong? Guys, does this look right to you? <laughs> I'm unsure. I think this is right. Okay, ooh. Okay, we got a man. We got his feet in. Yes. All right. Now we have six bloody face. Is that on him? We were. Okay, nice. Okay, building this up, guys. Okay, Levi has two faces. So he has this face. And he has this face. I should be wearing my gloves for this. I'm screwing up already, guys. Give me a second. Got in my gloves. Let's get back to this unboxing. Okay, so this. Oh, <laughs> my glove got stuck to his face. I'm bringing one side. So this is one of Levi. Oh, my gloves keep getting stuck to his Levi's faces. You see him? And then we have this face as well. I think I'm gonna go with this face. I'm gonna go with this face. Okay. This hair gets stuck on these gloves a lot. I'm kind of scared. I don't want to damage the figure, but we're gonna put his head in. Oh, let's fit head with him nicely. Oh, get too much stuff on the table right now. No mind laundry. Should move my laundry out of the way. Hold on, we're back in business. So now we have, we're moving up the figure. So we already put Zeke's body here. And we have Levi standing on his pose, holding, gripping onto his hair. And now I'm gonna add some more pieces. Maybe I should've put his, wait, take his head out. That's a good magnet. Okay, yes! We got his scarf on, yes. Maybe I should, is this the right? Okay, I think so. <laughs> Okay, now we have this dope scarf. I mean, cape. I need to take my glove off to cut on the video.
the details of the cape. Got the emblem here. But I'll put this on. And maybe I should have stuck this on before I put his head on. So I'm gonna take his head off. Ooh, ooh, and his scarf just fell. Oh, nice. Okay, that went on easier. I love like resin figures. The, two, the the ones I have thus far, they've been super simple to assemble and like the magnets are so awesome. They just bring it all together and make it all stable. Oh, I can see. Okay. Let's bring that in. Okay. I guess. Look good. Okay, yes, it's coming together, guys. Ooh, and this blade looks fire, guys. Look at this blade. This is real deal, guys. My yeah, pretty sure it's. Ooh, this is metal. That is for sure. They were not screwing around. All right. Put his hand on. Oh, nice. Love, love, love it. Oh, and this is cool. They tell you what number that you got out of the how many they made? It made 537 of these. I have what number 378. You can post that up somewhere. I'm not sure where, but we're gonna find out later. I'm gonna leave it right here for now. Oh, and it has an emblem on the back again, too. This is a survey corpse. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is. It's like some green part. I don't even know. We have some wiry things here. I guess this can hook somewhere. Okay, these hooks to the sword. Okay. Does this one? Maybe, guys, don't be like me. Maybe you should connect that before. You put the sword in his hand because that made me nervous. I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay. We got some poles here. Okay, they use poles going front. Oh, oh, that's scary. These poles are a little scary. I'm not supposed to get it here. I have to get in the wrong place. I think this one's right. And this one's. Maybe I should work on the little parts first. Why are you sitting there? 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 Okay, next we have this piece. We're going to put it in inside. Is what it looks like thus far guys i do not like putting together figures when i do not have instructions this is not fun <laughs> i'm low-key stressed high-key stressed okay so we've got his little pack on right here we got his sword out 
I'm not sure if it's supposed to hang like this. We're going to figure it out later. Now, it's going to be like that. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> so many pole thingies. I'm going to put the poles in last. So, let me take out all the poles. So, we have three poles. We have two of his gear things on his leg. I put one right here, and this goes on the other side. I'm gonna show you that later. Okay. I just put that piece right here. Easily connects because there's a magnet on his leg. Well, this magnet's all over this figure. That's why I like resin figures. The ones I've gotten already, because they all connect with magnets. Like, it just pops in. Now we have all like the zombie hands or the undead hands. We have like five of them. Taking them all out now. I wonder if we could just randomly put the hands in or they all have set spaces. It's a zombie hand. Yeah. Zombie hand. I love zombies. <laughs> I was obsessed with The Walking Dead until they killed one of my favorite characters. And then we were not friends after that. I didn't even finish it. No part of me low-key regrets it because I did enjoy watching it. Like I used to like sit up and watch it with my siblings. I'm not with my boyfriend this time. But good time. All these plastic pieces here. Open the box. Okay, so we have five hands and we have three poles. And we have this random thing. I don't know what this is quite yet, but we will figure it out later. So I'm going to put these hands in and I'm going to put these poles in and try to figure out what the rest of the stuff goes later. Oh, they, oh, this is so useful, guys. Let me show you this. This person's a genius. Like, where is it? Like, I'm not sure. I might have to, like, do it another way, but, like, there are numbers written in the whole. So, see, like, they have numbers written. So, it's, like, numbers on the, um, the base, as well as numbers on the zombie hands. So like we got three and five, and this is number four. This one has a number somewhere, but yeah, it tells you exactly where these are. Does this pole have a number? Oh my God, it does. So this pole has number two on it. Okay, whoever did this was a genius. Okay, okay, I'm not upset anymore. So now that I'm educated now, we're gonna get back to putting <laughs> these parts where they're supposed to be. Right, so I'm gonna stick number one and number one. Okay, now I'm gonna stick the hands at first. So I'm gonna stick number two, number two. Okay, and then we have, I don't know what number there is. So I'm gonna go with number three because I see number three right away. Number three, and then we have number four. What number is this? No oh, number one. Or at least I can't see it. Oh, number five. That's not, ooh, number five, yes. And this is, ooh. Ooh, this one doesn't have anything red. Number two, where are you, number two? I'm assuming this goes here. Oh, and I was right. I was correct. So get the zombie hands in. This looks dope. And now I'm gonna try to find out where this goes. I think this might be the ramp. Oh, it does. Okay, that randomly goes there, which is scary because it was like right in my face. <laughs> and then we have number one. We have to have a hole somewhere for this one, which I do not currently see because I'm blind. 
I want it on the box. Oh, cool. wait. This is not the right one. <laughs> I think this is it. Not number two? How much for Okay, I'm gonna assume this is right. Cause this one like this one doesn't have a number written on it. That hole says three though. So I'm gonna assume this we're we are done here guys. So yes. Looks good. I'm gonna give you like a zoomed in shot later. Okay, so stay tuned till after the, <laughs> the outing, I guess. So the outro, stay tuned and watch after the outro. Thanks for watching this unboxing. Like I'll show like close ups later. All right, see you, bye. Guys, I just found out what this piece is for. So like, this is literally like Levi's collar. I'm like 110% sure. And then you put his little, <clears throat> you put his little scarf in it. So it's gonna be like this. But it's gonna look better. <laughs> okay, like this. So I just took the head off and everything because like I feel like there is an order to this so Or my crappy table guys So first I'm gonna stick in his collar So the collar goes here, okay these colors on. And then we're gonna put on his scarf. I like the way the scarf's looking here. And now we're gonna put in his head. In the head. Oh. Oh. Why is this happening? <laughs> Oh my god, safe. I thought it broke. We're good, safe. Alright, so since I have both hands now, I'm gonna put that in. Put the head on. Okay, awesome. I found the other core when it hooks into the back of this or into the front. It's like a hole right here and you put it in. need to put in this cape. Oh, I don't touch the cape. Oh, I'm dumb guys. I forgot I have to put the cape on before I put his head on. So let's try that again. I'm gonna take his head out. Well I did not drop anything. I'm gonna put that down. Take his head out. So I'm gonna just scarf there. first and then we're gonna put this on wait how even hold on
Is this not gonna? Okay, so we have to stick the scarf in first and then we put this on, the collar on. The collar wants to cooperate. Or am I tripping? What do you mean? Hmm? You mean what got? <laughs> Because if the collar is there, I can't put on this scarf. You need for me. Okay. Oh, okay, I got it. Yay. Okay, so you put on this scarf, I mean the cape first, and then you put on the collar. And now we're going to put on his head and his scarf. I'm just going to sit that up in there. And put it on. Oh, perfect. I think we are done. Now we are officially done. Look at this gorgeous figure. Like the details on this are sick. Love it. comes all the way down to like all the details that's crazy got some blood and brick here i like this gold embellishments they have on the base like they put work in this is my first figure from lc studios but guys you put in some work love it it's like everything i could possibly want in the figure like they did they gave it a gorgeous base they gave all like these fine details to it, like the blood seeping into the stone and like, seeping into the uniform. And you got like blood dripping from Zeke's face. And you got all the details of like how like your body looks or like your, your mm, I guess how it looks when your skin is ripped off your body. Wow. Now you gotta know, they like, I love zombies because I just told you that, but like, I think that's what like drew me to figure, like the fact that they had my favorite character and they had like this zombie effect coming on. And they got Zeke's like Titan form. My guys, they did a good job. We're taking so many L's. This is a happy surprise. <laughs> 